Hi Scorpio, this is your horoscope and tea, tarot, tarot and tea leaf reading for May 2029. Now I'm just going to change the picture slightly so that you see me as well. So you know it's me, I'm back. I'm sorry that I've been so long gone really for doing uh, uh, monthlies or weeklies. Uh, but I've been really busy because I've had a backlog because I've been sick for five months. Well, five and a half months. And it's all right now. So I'm going to start doing the tea leaf. Whilst I was sick, I discovered these teacups and they're magical. I hope you like it. Let me know in the comments if you do like it. This is the teacup with 24 karat gold. Um on it with black and white and I'm just going to drink the tea and swell the tea it's been uh, I've just made it so I uh, just had to cool it down it's still hot so definitely herbal tea is also one of these things that I love to drink so here we go this is green tea by the way like loose tea but I love to brew tea but especially in a special holder so yeah so tap on it Scorpio 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 if you would come and do a reading with me or by me then I would ask you to put a ring or a little coin on it um, so that your energy can seep into the cup they're always uh, washed and recharged okay so let's have a look what we've got for you here well we have here we have the um, tea leaf on the chariot and that's I'm starting at the ear and you've also got some on the um, justice card so I'm starting off with the justice so you can see that the tea leaf is right on the justice here um, there I'll just move it in a little bit so and move it away again because uh, it was like that um, and the justice card you well know, you know what justice is if you find yourself in a judicial situation then it means that you will get what you deserve and so will the other also you could be meeting or dealing with a Libra or a professional person that represents or works in an institution a municipality this can be a school, this can be the tax office as we are in tax season, this could be an advocate, a lawyer or a, um, a social worker, anybody that works for an institution, like I said, can be a teacher as well or a professor. Trying to keep things in balance, perhaps on the work front and with the home front, perhaps you're trying to balance the books. For those that are in a judicial situation, it justice will be done, you will get what you deserve. This could also be the justice of the peace. So some of you could be signing official documentation or getting married. We also have on the chariot uh, the T and the chariot represents cancer and also the mental strength you are very very strong mentally you with the libra air signs are eager to, uh, to gain knowledge so they can get justice and truth and transparency especially libra in this case because it is the scales and the they think very very fast on their feet and they keep their emotions under control especially in business so definitely you could be signing official documentation because this also means new contracts because it's the marriage card is getting engaged starting a family could be a gynecologist you're dealing with um, also expanding the family or the home so you could be buying a new home you could be um, signing uh, travel documents um, as this uh, symbol also represents um, traveling, moving home. 
dealing with uh, the attorney or the estate agent. He's also a guy that works or a woman that works in an institution. They're professional as well. They've got a professional body. The professional body is the institution. Um, also, um, traveling, uh, traveling for work or combining it with a holiday. Definitely, you're the victor, you're the champion, and you have reached your goal. Congratulations. You also have a tea leaf on the temperance uh, card. You can see that there. It, it is on the temperance, just touching the wing. And temperance uh, represents Sagittarius, and Sagittarius is the opposite sign to Gemini. I don't know whether we've got Gemini here. No. No, no, we haven't got Gemini. Lovers, no, we don't have any tea on the lovers. So again, the angels, angels have your back. You could be meeting or dealing with a Sagittarius, like I said. You've also got Capricorn and the Death card. Let me just separate this. Capricorn, the goat, and on the tower. So there is an ending coming and a new beginning. The Death card means... Um, transformation and transitioning a stronger version of you is coming out also you're no longer the caterpillar you are the butterfly with Capricorn we have uh, the devil the devil represents uh, the, the Capricorn so that could be a time frame if it isn't a person it can be a time frame so it could be since last uh, last year Scorpio or this year Capricorn that you started something new or that you started procedures or gaining knowledge or seeking advice if you are in a judicial situation or if you're wanting to get pregnant with the devil it means don't let anybody push your buttons or pull your strings especially your heart strings this is usually somebody that has an addiction or a bad habit that doesn't have to be sex, drugs and rock and roll. This can be coming late to work, eating too much, um, eating the wrong food, coming late to work, getting late out of bed, burning the candle on both ends, things like that. But all of a sudden, you know, there will be an ending coming in because you've got tea lying on the tower. This is the tower. So let me just move it. There you can see it. Okay. So this triangle is could be happening in sequence as well as it is lying in a triangle or a circle definitely near the justice card so there is an ending coming to negativity and positivity is reborn as the death card is also known as the rebirth card or you might break away from this person that has got negative vibes negative habits or addictions and it could happen all of a sudden you didn't even expect it let me tell you something you always when you get married you hope it is for life a life soulmate a life's partner well sometimes things happen unexpectedly and you never thought you would go and get divorced um, I've experienced that myself so I know what I'm talking about so that's why the other side of the coin with these negative cards warning signs if it hasn't happened yet this could be happening that you could all of a sudden get divorced or seeking advice from a mature person but you've also got um, tea on the sun here uh, let me see whether um, I can you can see it it's very very thin very very thin it's got a dot here and it's on the sun so you are in the spotlight this means that time is fertile for new beginnings well you've got the death card there you've got the tower there they're all new beginnings and also the scales because the scales means if justice is done then you've got a new beginning so for those that are getting divorced there is a new beginning and the sun is shining on you. It will be a good time. You will be starting afresh. So let go of the old and let in get ready for the new. Secrets could be revealed to you because the sun is a spotlight. Where there is a spotlight, that means you've got recognition, you're being seen. There could be promotions, engagements, marriage, starting a family, expanding the family or the home. 
like the chariot expansion in both romance or uh, business partnerships or in um, at work in career definitely you could be dealing with a Leo as the Sun represents Leo but where there is a spotlight there is also illumination something needs your attention okay now you've got a, a T lying but it's not touching but it's lying very close to the strength count so you are getting stronger this is what a, uh, the the death card or the death represents a stronger version is coming out it's not here yet perhaps but you are transitioning into a stronger person now we also have um, T on the Empress so again showing us that time is fertile with the Sun be careful if you're signing uh, official documents get the small print checked out get advice from a professional with the scales here as well okay now for those that don't want to get pregnant take precautions if you're too mature you could be hearing that somebody's giving birth or in the family or friends circle with the empress here with the t right on top of her crown i'll just move it so that you can see it is the empress is number three definitely fertile you could be meeting or dealing with a mother-in-law potential mother-in-law your own mother or your grandmother again telling me that time is fertile with the sun could be very very fertile um, I'm even hearing some of you could be expecting twins because of double um, fertility uh, signs here uh, it's a very successful positive uh, read here although you've got the tower the skeleton and the death card at the tower and the devil secrets could be revealed with the sun okay definitely so and uh, all the negativity won't be as bad as what it says in the center of the cup because the mother fig figure always protects it young so your mother could be protecting you by giving you solid advice and the sun also shines on you so you've got protection from the divine the angels and the sun so you are highlighted uh, somebody has to be careful somebody that has bad habits um, that could be negative to you that has hurt you perhaps in the past with its scales here the justice so definitely it seems really really positive all in all Scorpio you're coming out like smelling like roses and you have um, got thorns so that's the strength of you you're not going to take BS lightly also you've got the Hierophant you've got the page of Pentacles now you didn't have the Hierophant here I believe no um, and you've got the moon again a spotlight the Sun and the moon the mother and the father the Sun is the father again you've got the Empress here Empress showing us that it is literally and figuratively in the cup as well double double whammy okay with the sun fertility wow triple fertility in the reading okay now we've got the hierophant here we've got the justice of the peace in the teacup so definitely marriage is for some of you on the cards some of you could be very ambitious and trying to reach your goal and that's why you could be seeking advice from a professional like the scales so this is confirming the scales also um, that it is Taurus we are in Taurus time if it isn't a person that you could be dealing with definitely um, the page of Pentacles again confirming Capricorn which is also represented um, by um, the devil so Capricorn is prominent here uh, perhaps you might have started something in January end of last year uh, because we go into the next zodiac sign around the 20th 22nd or the 21st um, but don't forget Taurus and we've got Taurus here um, or Virgo news is on its way it could be an idea that you had 
in Capricorn time and now it's coming into the material world. You've got number 18, the moon, so that is 9 and 9 um, is an ending and a new beginning. Now you've also got 19, so you've got 18, 19 going up to the next level which I've already mentioned with the chariot, definitely awesome. Secrets could be revealed like this, uh, you've got the Empress here and um, you've got the uh, son which is the father, you've got the Empress here twice, so mother figures, grandmothers, mother-in-law or another mother figure that you somebody that you see as a mother figure so you could be dealing with a mother figure and that um, the empress um, has her back to your mother perhaps your mother you might be pregnant and your mother doesn't know yet so this could be a secret that you are keeping and revealing in due course you are following your northern note as the moon is your northern note with the black and white uh, uh, wolves or dogs usually you see pillars and they represent the pillars in this deck and uh, the light says so definitely you are on the right track and the right path but be careful get clarity if you are dealing with authorities or officiality also um, play your cards close to your chest if you are the one that's keeping secrets and don't cry wolf is being told to me again here we've got the empress pregnancy number three in the cup it's also number three obviously so you've got double numbers here definitely three three so angels are showing you that they have your back and also with the temperance card that's the angel wings beautiful i love these cups they're so expressive wow and we've got the death card the second also in your tea leaf reading we have the death card the death card means transformation transformation and transitioning into a stronger version of yourself scorpio again number 13 becomes a four number 13 also means fellowship making new friends in this new phase of life there is a dawn rising for you number four uh, means uh, stability and productivity from the secret garden we have rest slow down you don't have to solve everything today no what can be done tomorrow uh, is okay so slow down stay in your strength as you've got this tea leaf reading uh, lying on the strength okay come into your strength uh, sorry I've got itchy eye so that might be something saying watch out watch out this is how it works with me I start getting an itchy ear or left for love right for fight so take your rest and watch out watch out that you stay away from people that have got bad habits got addictions um, and take this as a warning if it hasn't happened yet kindness protect yourself i'm hearing be kind don't be over over kind to others okay don't be a people pleaser um, force respect you can only force respect by setting your boundaries and knowing other people's boundaries so that you don't have to get stressed out and worry do they like me what do you care whether they like you or not you are the one that has to love yourself and respect yourself first and take care of number one then the rest later kindness from the whispers of the woods okay little bambi sleeping take respite by a pound and by a pond and be kind to yourself and others i didn't even sort these cards out i never do but wow that's a whammy bammy again slow down you don't have to solve everything today take respite so rest by a pond be one with nature like the empress 
what she sows she shall reap reap because she also um, uh, is known as mother earth and that's why she represents the mother figure and be kind to yourself and others but don't be over kind okay don't be people pleaser don't be the chaste oh sorry don't uh, don't chase people be chaste that's the hunter don't be the hunter don't be the hunt be the hunted but don't be the hunter that's what i'm saying okay co-create yes join forces with people that respect you that uh, give you respect and keep the balance within the friendship relationship partnership co-create this means create something together and be of one mind and be in balance maintain the balance if you uh, force respect when you get respect then you uh, you don't have the devil in the devil i always say there should be equilibrium balance so tell that person that you can't be their skivvy or the doormat okay respect yourself stand up for yourself tell them to go and see a professional okay you've got the scales there and you've also got the hierophant here somebody that works for an institution that could be the doctor or the psychologist or the social worker so co-create number four uh number four uh do you have a number four here yes so you've got two number fours 13 becomes four productivity and stability will return you're the cheater don't and you know slow down you know you've got the cheater sitting here looking out onto the horizon okay sit on your throne like the king and use your wisdom don't walk on that tightrope you see that the owl is also just sitting on that rope so don't walk the tightrope wow there are going to be celebrations the flags are out and don't walk on eggshells this is what this picture is telling me co-creating must be passionate you it's with somebody that has the same passion as you okay now also right, i see somebody protecting somebody here in the rock leading them okay be the leader don't be led okay love unconditional love precisely that is what equilibrium is so a respect self-respect self-love and wholeness so heal if you have just got a divorce don't jump from the frying pan into the fire or vice versa slow down heal get over it affection and attraction be careful it's not just passion attraction so slow down selflessness be selflessness that is what the devil should be okay not somebody that is selfish don't always be a people pleaser oh i didn't even see that how amazing that this force together thank you spirit thank you angels thank you tara i hope you've enjoyed this reading uh, scorpio take care stay safe and please do um something that's not working here please do um share and like ah, i've got it now there you are please do share and like and thank you very much know that i love you and that the trine is with you the angels the divine and the spirit and the cosmos. Take care. Bye-bye.